Welcome back everybody, my name is Becca. If you are new here, today we are spending a lot of time in one of my favorite stores and you guessed it, Dollar Tree. <laughs> it's been so long since I put out a Dollar Tree video, I thought it would be fun to film some of my favorite things to purchase at Dollar Tree. We are going to start with office supplies or school supplies, especially during back to school. Dollar Tree has some amazing items that are extremely inexpensive. notebooks, paper composition notebooks, highlighters, pens, you know, those are really cute, um, what are they called, like pencil cases, I've loved those since I was little, I still geek out over back to school supplies, things like these, like those markers, I wouldn't suggest buying off-brand markers or off-brand crayons, I find that even with my kids, they just don't work well, but like these huge packs of pens or mechanical pencils, sometimes they are cheaper than buying the back to school sales at Target. If you can catch them, they're great at Target and Walmart, but like these big pens work amazing. My husband and I use them. These highlighters, they work just as good. And if you have toddlers, you go through glue sticks like crazy. <laughs> so don't forget to check Dollar Tree for back to school items. The second thing I would say would be any sort of seasonal decor. Seasonal decor is out of this world sometimes at Dollar Tree and you can go a little bit over the edge with signs. Dollar Tree signs get me every year, but don't be afraid to go in there. And these were all the rage this year, these pie signs. I think there's four of them. I actually did find all four in that store. I didn't pick them up. <laughs> My husband would have been proud, um, but definitely check Dollar Tree and don't be afraid to DIY things. Every time I watch this video, I'm so sad I didn't bring these home with me. They're so cute and they were made out of tin. Anyways, if you buy, if you see something at Dollar Tree and you love it, don't say you'll come back. You're going to have to get it because 99% of the time it's not going to be there when you come back to look at something at Dollar Tree. And that's what I like about the pricing is that I don't have to love everything about it. I personally like to DIY things and it's pretty inexpensive. So you can DIY something that you would get at like Hobby Lobby for a fraction of the cost if you are into crafting, oh my goodness, Dollar Tree is an amazing place to start crafting, especially for different seasons. Like how cute are these picks? You'd probably pay, I don't know, three or four dollars for each one of these at, you know, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And I am in love with the crafts that they come out for every season, like Christmas, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, all of those little like smaller holidays they're super fun to decorate for but I don't want to put an entire budget into it especially with my little ones so I like picking up super fun stuff and it's really inexpensive they came out with these pumpkins this year that clip onto the wreaths and they are so smart they were wrapped in leather they were wrapped in like yarn there's just so much sometimes I walk in and have to restrain myself <laughs> with how much how many options that they provide and every year they come out with stuff and if you didn't know it's you know old news now but because they raised the price from a dollar to a dollar 25 their variety especially in the crafting section has gotten like a hundred times better in my book they are able to offer so many different items if you are looking to getting into gardening or if you are a gardener, I would highly recommend some of the items, not everything, but Dollar Tree is such a great place to start. My sons and I recently started a garden last year and we've used quite a bit from here and I do have to say I'm not let down by anything that I've picked up. And oh my goodness, these bird feeders are so sweet. My, my sons used these last year. And their seeds, the seed packets from Dollar Tree, we have germinated so many seedlings that are still alive today. <laughs> so don't pass up the garden section. It does look a little sad now. Obviously, it's not springtime. Jumping into one of my favorite places in Dollar Tree would be the party decor. You literally can throw a party for like under $20. Decor, place settings, placemats. It is hit or miss depending on like if you're looking for a particular theme. So we have little boys and anytime I see dinosaurs I pick them up. Dinosaurs don't go out of style. <laughs> Sometimes there are actual themed like characters like maybe you'll see Disney or 
you know, there's a myriad of different characters that pop up, but I love that they have everything else. I can pick out a color like purple and blue or yellow and red. I can buy balloons. I can buy streamers. And then I can spend my money on like Amazon or at Target on like a particular character. It's kind of like filler and save a ton of money. All of these foil balloons for like each number, they have anything you could think of to decorate. Moving on into the party section, greeting cards, I will always purchase these at Dollar Tree. They have, they even carry Hallmark and I don't really think it matters the brand of the card, it's the sentiment behind it, so if you can get it within your budget, why not? The birthday bags are always adorable. They have, especially during Christmas, if you watch any DIY videos on YouTube, people tear their birthday or Christmas bags apart and frame them. That's how pretty they are. Wrapping paper, obviously the wrapping paper spool isn't going to be as much as you'd get if you got it at a bigger store, but I find that it literally works just enough for my kids' birthdays, and I mean it goes in the trash. Anyways, we recycle it, but it's not like I'm hanging up wallpaper. They have bows. This is one of my favorite sections you can literally use. They have party cups, they have serving bowls, serving ware, and platters. You can DIY these silver platters. They're all plastic. I've seen people spray paint these and use them as trays in their bathrooms, use them for floral designs. How cute are these little coffee mugs? I thought they were so cute. <laughs> they are disposable, so you can literally throw an entire party, a baby shower. People have used this stuff for weddings. I've seen some really awesome videos. So... If you're looking for anything of this nature, don't pass up Dollar Tree because I promise you won't be disappointed in the party section. Moving along into the non-seasonal crafting section, this would be more of like the floral arrangements, the nautical rope, ribbon, they have glassware. I'm getting excited just watching this footage back. I could be in Dollar Tree for like three hours and my husband <laughs> would know exactly where I am. So ribbon, especially their seasonal ribbon, again their spools are going to be a lot smaller but if you're just crafting I find that it is the biggest bang for your buck unless you're doing like an entire wreath. Their glassware, some of their vases that they carry year-round are not my favorite but Sometimes they get in new ones. These pom-poms, my kids play with these all the time. Such a great sensory activity. But if you just look at everything that I'm going to scan here in a second, you can craft with your kids for hours and you're not spending a fortune. You can do sensory bins if you homeschool. Their paint is actually really great. And it's a really fun idea to let your kids paint on these canvases and... They have a ton of wood characters. I've painted some of these with my sons. So I'll just lay some music behind this because there's so much to look at. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't. to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for take my hand we'll make it somehow we can't miss okay this is one of the areas i get so excited about every time i go into dollar tree <laughs> I'm like beaming doing this voiceover. I am in love with Dollar Tree's books. Again, some of these items, just like with any store, are going to be hit or miss. But I promise you, I have instilled such a love of reading in my kids. And I want to say like 40% of our books come from Dollar Tree. They have Sesame Street books. They have homeschool items. Like you can literally get an entire library at Dollar Tree and it's not going to cost you a fortune. Children's books are really expensive and yes, there's some really great brands and authors that we love, but between the library, you know, Dollar Tree and Target or Walmart or wherever, 
you can really score some really great books here. So every time I come in, I leave probably with three or four books. The school section, if you are a homeschooling mom like me, please do not pass up. <laughs> I'm going to say that a hundred times in this video. Do not pass up this section. They have dry erase, books, workbooks that you can work on. They have all of the things that a teacher would use in their classroom to decorate like a bulletin board. They have counting manipulatives. They have stickers. They have flashcards. Anything you can think of to teach your child, you can find here. And again, this is an amazing place to start if you don't want to put in, you know, if you're doing it on a budget. And I don't think it should cost a fortune to teach your child. So, these removable hooks, I will say I don't think that they work wonderfully on a wall. But if you put them on a door, I find that they stick really well and they have not damaged my doors. Cleaners, I think for me, are a little bit hit and miss at Dollar Tree. If you're looking to try something out, I would definitely recommend. It may not be the best price per ounce, so just pay attention to that when you're buying like dish soap or any cleaners. Sometimes Dollar Tree will carry full size and sometimes it'll be like travel size. The aisle in Dollar Tree is amazing. There are some things that you can find that are great, like that sponge holder. They have these little glass cutting boards, the paper towel holder, that's a great item to DIY with. When you're in Dollar Tree, anything becomes a DIY. <laughs> After all of the videos I watch, I walk in, I'm like, I can DIY this and that. There are some items I would not purchase, like some of their cookware, you just have to be careful. I wanted to try this, I'm kind of upset I didn't pick it up, I wanted to see if it was worth, if it actually worked for the $1.25. This is my favorite aisle. The glassware is unbeatable for the price. I have these in my cabinet currently. You can find really beautiful like stemware. They have margarita glasses, water glasses, mason jars. Not all of them are dishwasher safe, so <laughs> just make sure that when you purchase them and take them home, you actually read the labels before you put them and the dishwasher, same goes for like seasonal or actual dishware. I do have a set that they have come out with. I think if you've been to Dollar Tree more than once, you've seen it. It's like the blue flower or floral pattern. It's gorgeous. I don't put it in the dishwasher though. One of my top three items that I would always purchase at Dollar Tree or check Dollar Tree first for would be organizing bins. Those are amazing for in your fridge yogurts, you know, small things like that. Depending on the style you're looking for, the size or the color, Dollar Tree, I promise you, <laughs> will probably always have an option. The last aisle I would recommend would be the hardware aisle. If you have not used this strain snake, I would highly recommend keeping this on hand. It works amazing. They have tape measures, they have paint supplies, items to detail your car, so definitely check that out the next time you're in Dollar Tree. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this content, and I'll see you in the next.